Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you. You guys, I am so excited. <laughs> I feel like I'm freaking on. I am so excited that we are minutes away from going to Dublin, Ireland. I have only been one time before. It was back in like 2019 for another flight attendant trip. Now I'm gonna get my stuff out and let's go head to the Dallas airport. All right, so I'm gonna just set y'all here, but y'all, this makeup has been on my face for almost 24 hours. It is so crusty, it's just dry. I feel like it's kind of just like melted into my skin and cracking. Like I'm so ready <laughs> to just wash it off, get changed into something other than this uniform. But um, I did wanna chat with you just really quick before we start doing all that. So right now it is 11.48. One of the things I'll never forget because it caught me so off guard is that Dublin has so many donut spots like there is like gourmet donut spots like around every corner it was so random that I can't forget that so maybe while we're here we'll get a donut or something I am technically dieting so Chip and I started doing a mini cut I am back in the gym my health is thriving I do want to try to stick to the plan but also I'm only in Dublin once so we're gonna meet somewhere in the middle I asked y'all on Instagram mm. to drop me some suggestions of things to do in Dublin. If you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me because I do this often. I post a lot of flat and jokes, a little bit more of like an inside scoop on my life, lots of stuff over there. But anyways, y'all gave me so many suggestions, so many good suggestions. But before I tell y'all the game plan of what's going on today, what's going on tomorrow, I kind of want to get the ball running, get some of this off my face so I can start doing my makeup again so we can get outside as soon as possible. Also, I want to get out of this uniform. I've, I've been in it long enough. So we're gonna break right here and catch back up in just a second. So ready, break. The plan for today is a lot of you guys recommended to me um, to go to Penny's. So Penny's was actually the very first Primark here in Dublin, but when they expanded into the UK, apparently due to possible trademarking issues with JC Penney's, they ended up renaming themselves to Primark. So here it's still Penny's. And so a lot of you are like, you love Primark, you should go check it out. So I kind of want to go run in there and see, is it like the exact same stuff? I figure I'm going to try to knock out as much on that list as possible. But at 4.30, I'm going to be meeting um, back with another flight attendant at the hotel. And we're going to be going to a local grocery store that she was telling me about. Apparently they have like little mini cakes that are like supposed to be like really cute and good. But one of the things about Dublin that is so interesting is instead of clearing customs when you get back to the US, you actually clear customs here. So you'll go through like the normal security and then go through customs, clear it. And then once you land back in the States, you just go to your car, you're all done. You don't have to like go through customs, which is very, very interesting. So that's pretty much the plan for today. But whatever we don't get done today, I'm going to try to do tomorrow because the showtime isn't going to be until 1240. So it's kind of like that late London I've been doing where you still have all morning to play around with. So as long as I go to bed tonight by like nine, I can easily be up by like seven. I have had like an insane amount of um, coffee and energy drinks. So hopefully that'll be enough to, uh, to push us through. Also, a lot of you guys recommended to me um, the Jameson, Jameson, I <laughs> can't speak, the Jameson Distillery as well as the Irish Whiskey Museum, as well as the Guinness. A lot of y'all told me to drink. A lot of y'all said to go get a drink at the Temple Bar, which 
I can't drink. Because of my autoimmune medications, I'm really not supposed to be drinking. My rheumatologist basically said you can have like a drink a month. But even like on this last visit, he was like, don't get pregnant and don't be drinking. Because you will get pregnant and die. So them's the rules. It came highly recommended. Like when I tell y'all, a bunch of people told me to go there. A bunch of people told me to go there. So I know it's probably really, really fun. And if you're into that and you're in Dublin, I, I'm assuming that's something to check out because that many people were like, you need to do that. Y'all, I just plugged in my phone so I can charge and I can listen to music while I get ready. And I realized I had the wrong date in here. I was playing um, Candy Crush. And for those of you who don't know who are like Candy Crushers like myself, if you change the date and time, allegedly it gives you more lives. So I was doing that and didn't realize that <laughs> I forgot to change it back. So today's actually a uh, Thursday the 25th, not Friday the 26. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done blabbing. Let me fix this because it, it needs some work if you can't tell. Okay, you guys, I am ready. I feel like a dad going to the gym. <laughs> going to the gym. I also did not bring a purse. I just brought my little insulated lunch bag from Amazon that y'all know at this point I'm obsessed with. I'll link it down below. But without further ado, you guys, let's get on out of here. at Primark and dropped everything off at the hotel or I guess pennies it's pennies <laughs> there are a lot of similarities to what's going on in London but there's also some different stuff I don't know if y'all can see the water behind me it is gorgeous out here the weather is perfect but my goodness is it busy it's like kind of hard to find a spot to even like walk in when there's not just a ton of people like constantly bumping into each other but this part is like the least packed it's been at all everybody's on the other on the other side of the street over there. But now I'm walking over to Temple Bar. I can't make up my mind if I actually wanna go in or just see it. We're gonna wing it. We have about two hours before we have to meet up with the other flight attendant. So I'm just kinda of seeing where the world takes me. So for landmarker number two besides pennies, here is the Hay Penny Bridge. And I actually remember taking a photo on this a while back. Sorry for the sound, hopefully you guys can still hear me. So before the Haypenny Bridge was built, the only way to cross the River Liffey was by ferry. These ferries were operated by William Walsh and were in bad condition. Walsh was informed that he either had to fix the ferries or build a bridge. So Walsh opted to build a bridge and this bridge was built in 1816 of cast iron. The official name is the Liffey Bridge but is now commonly referred to as the Haypenny Bridge because anyone crossing the bridge was charged a toll of half a penny. The toll was dropped in 1919 and now visitors are free to cross. So I know the lighting is absolutely horrible, but y'all don't understand how hard it is to find a place that I can actually film where it's not overly loud and have somewhere to set my camera. Like, I just wanna show you, I just wanna show you what I'm working with right now. I literally set you guys up here on this random thing, just in the middle of some street corner, because. I don't know where else to put you, honestly. But I went by the Temple Bar and I was this close to actually walking in, having a drink, just gonna relax. I'm pretty sure I did it last time that I was there because it looked really, really familiar. But then I realized I cannot do that, like absolutely not, because I literally took my methotrexate only hours ago and I completely forgot. So that was scratched, but I did the next best thing, which is donuts so i told you guys i was gonna find a donut spot so where i was at i kind of looked and see what donut spots were around what had the best rating the most like reviews so i found this spot called the rolling donut and they have just the most beautiful donuts everybody said that they were really awesome and i'm starving this donut also is massive so i'm just going to use this as a plate because i'm sure whatever my camera is sitting on is just foul Look, you guys, at how big <laughs> this donut is. I wanna take a picture for Instagram really fast, just so they get to see a little bit behind the scenes. I'll include y'all in the shot. Let's go ahead and try it out. Mm, okay, there's no, 
filling inside of it. Oh, there we go. So y'all would not believe what just happened to me. So um, I just had a mini meltdown over here because I was filming B-roll with my phone of where I'm at. So I'm actually at Trinity College, which I stumbled into. I'm going over to Kells Books. Was that the name of it? I forgot the name of it, but I'm, I'm going over there and I knew it was like by the Trinity College, but I didn't, I just accidentally stumbled into this part. So I was filming and all of a sudden I go to my albums and it wasn't saving. And then I looked and nothing I have been filming has been saving since I put my key card into the hotel room. So I actually switch a lot of times between my phone and my camera depending on what's easiest to grab, what the audio is gonna be like, how, how much I'm filming, that sort of stuff, just so I don't fill up my memory card on my camera. And so, so then I realized, oh my God, I'm missing all of the footage since I've been in the hotel. Now, mind you, at this point, I've already been to Penny's. I've already been to Hey Penny Bridge. I've already been to the Temple Bar. I've already been to the Donut Store. At least 50% of my footage is probably on my iPhone. So I'm calling Chip, trying to figure out what am I gonna do? How am I gonna make this video work? And then I was like, I'm gonna have to cancel dinner, go back to all the places I've already been, refilm as if I was there. <laughs> It was gonna be a disaster and then it turns out you guys remember when my phone was in the wrong date and time And I realized I had the wrong date in here So everything that I filmed earlier actually shows up as tomorrow instead of today So everything I've been filming today has gone up. So after a mini heart attack here I'm now sitting just enjoying Trinity College. I didn't understand why people told me to come here I was like that's very random to do but as I sit here, I'm like Oh, I get it. I definitely get it. It is beautiful. The buildings are beautiful. It's just like the nice weather. And I kind of like found like a little spot just on my own. And I'm just like people watching everybody like walk by over there. But it's almost time now <laughs> because I wasted so much time trying to figure out um, what I was going to do. Now it's almost time to head back to the hotel. But I do want to go ahead and stop at this like library to um, see what it's all about. Cause I know when my mom and my sister came to Dublin, this is the one thing my sister really wanted to do was go to this library. So I definitely want to see it as well to see what, what the hype was all about. So I'm gonna sit here for just a second longer, go over there and then I guess we're gonna head back to the hotel. So plot twist, you need tickets to get in. I didn't know, I called my mom and I was like, is it always? Because of, of another flight attendant told me it was supposed to be free. And she's like, no, we, we bought tickets too. And I think that was like four years ago. So um, because I don't have time, I was literally gonna run and run out so I can go to the hotel to meet up with the other flight attendant. I don't really wanna buy tickets just to, just to run in and run out. So I'm gonna see what the pricing is and maybe try to swing by in the morning to check it out. My mom said, really, you want about like 30 minutes to an hour to go do that and I don't have 30 minutes to an hour so we're gonna go ahead and bookmark that and hopefully we'll get to come back but now I'm finally gonna head back to the hotel I just got back to the room. So we went to Marks and Spencer. I got some goodies. Then we walked over to a place. I think it's called Dune, D-U-N-N-E. So now I am putting everything away in the refrigerator. I'll show you everything I got at Primark and from the grocery stores once I get back. But we're just gonna go ahead and stick everything in here. And then we're gonna go to that Korean restaurant that some of you guys recommended to me. And I know that seems a little like left field to be going to a Korean restaurant when when you're in Ireland, but to be fair like English food and Irish food are very very similar I know they're different, but they're still very very similar. So I feel like you know I can, I'm all right without without having the Irish food I think but you guys better not have let me down because I love Korean food. It's one of my favorites I told you guys when I went to Incheon if y'all missed those videos go check the two of them out But I told y'all like Japanese and Korean food are like top tier foods to me So I'm just putting the rest of my stuff on up and then we're gonna go ahead and walk over to the restaurant Y'all win, that was so 
good. I'm also about to have a turmeric shot. I picked this one up. <laughs> Y'all are like, Kat's back on our stuff again. I picked this one up at Dune. I picked two of them up because my knees are just like swelling and hurting. I think after the flight and then just walking around like everywhere. I was like face fast walking, fast paced walking, fast paced walking. It was like hustling. I just felt like running. Down the street. So I'm gonna go ahead and sip on this while I talk to you guys. But that restaurant was phenomenal. I don't know what the dish was called that I had and I sure know I couldn't pronounce it even if I did know the name. I'll try to like pop it up on the screen somewhere if I can find it. If it's not on the screen, I could not find the name, but it was phenomenal. It had like a purple sticky rice, and then it had this chicken with onions, and it was so good. It had just like a light spice. I, well, I would say if you're not accustomed to spice, I would call it more of like a, a medium hot. And we got an order of chicken dumplings right before, and everything was so good. I'm actually happy that we didn't do like the basic fish and chips. I think mostly just because I've been flying to London so much that I it was nice to do something a little bit different. Oh, that black pepper, it gets you every time. You can literally like see it, do you all see it? I don't know if it's fast acting. Does like turmeric, is it fast acting or is it just like you do it over time to help with inflammation? If not, I have ibuprofen, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. Mm. But I do wanna go ahead and show you guys what I got at Primark as well as the grocery store. I'll try to make it fast. I don't wanna like drag on too long with all my shopping and stuff. So I picked up some more of these tops because I basically live in them now. Like this is literally the top I'm wearing right now because they're only 350 euros, which the euro is actually very, very close to the dollar right now. They're almost one for one. So I grabbed two new colors because I also like to work out in these. And then I also grabbed these two zip up jackets. So you guys may remember in my last video that I posted in this jacket that I absolutely loved in this chocolate brown. And this one is a small because this is the actual size that my last one was in. Now I have been dying for like a long gray zip up, but I just cannot find a good one anywhere. And you know, I've looked looked at multiple Primarks to try to find one in a small. They just don't have it. So I went ahead and finally just did the plunge and got a medium. And then these were only nine euros a piece. Lastly, I picked up this winter coat. It is so cute. It's kind of like a trench coat, but has like that really, really soft material to it. And this one I picked up in a US size two and it was 35 euros. I was really hoping to find another one of these in brown, but they just did not have it in my size. So kind of like what I said earlier, where a lot of stuff is the same, but they also do have some pieces that like I definitely did not recognize, like this black jacket. It was the first thing I saw when I first walked in was like some of the winter coats that were so nice. So y'all know I had to get some of these mints. I am absolutely in love with them. They are so good. But I also tried this one this time. So I saw that they have a sugar-free butterscotch drop. and I like butterscotch. So I just got one just to try it out, see if it's any good. I also got a fan favorite, these Scottish all butter shortbread assortment cookies. And then lastly is my other fan favorite on the dry foods. So I love these with cheese and I did look at some of the Irish cheeses and they looked amazing, but I still have quite a bit of cheese at the house from England. So this is just my leftovers from dinner tonight, but I did go ahead and pick up another one of those turmeric shots. And then down below I have two packs of the British Piri Piri chicken slices. This was so good. I really, really liked it. But I also did want to try something different. So this is the British Tikka chicken flavor. Lays. and these look pretty good too. I like snacks like this because they're high in protein. I eat them. Protein keeps you full. It's hard to get protein in, especially when you're traveling. And then y'all may remember like a while back, I grabbed one of these. So this is the orzo and slow roasted tomatoes. And then this one I probably should have skipped. This was the other thing other than the turmeric shots that I did at Dune. I just got those three, but it, it got me. It said double Irish cheddar. Y'all know I've been loving, I've been loving the sandwiches, but that is everything I got. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, and stick everything like back in here. Okay. What a busy, but really, really fun day. I feel like I walked everywhere. I wonder if it's like possible to look up how much I walk today. Okay, so I'm gonna take my makeup off with my makeup wipes. I know, people are quaking. They don't like the wipes, but I like the wipes. I, I can't stand the, 
the oils that you like rub. It's just so nasty. It gets in your nails. It's just, ooh, I don't like it. The, the melting, the oils that like melt it, but it just, ooh, no thank you. It's always funny to me that you can like hear people walking in the hallways, but when you're walking in the hallways, you can't really hear people in their room unless they're like partying and then I'm like, okay, I get it. But I feel like I'm tired rambling now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and I will see you tomorrow. Night.